In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these little puff stitch scrubbies but also I will be doing a follow-up video to show you how to turn these into granny squares as well. So this variegated yarn one here that looks really nice actually um, is the one that I'm going to be turning into a granny square. I just wanted you to see the effect that you get when doing this particular pattern and how nice it would look as a granny square because it would give you a nice 3D section to a granny square. So that is the one that I've done in variegated yarn, again with a four millimeter hook. And then you can see the difference. This is the one I've done with my Shapies Katona cotton yarn and a four millimeter hook. And I'm using this one as a proper face scrubby. So I have put a row of double crochet border all the way around to finish it off. But let's get started with this pattern. I get asked quite a lot what people can use these really sweet Shapies Katona mini balls for. So I thought I would just do a quick video for something that I've used them for. But obviously for this tutorial you can use any yarn that you like at all. It's completely up to you and any size hook. I just thought it would be good to show you a little mini project that you can do with one of these miniature Katona things. But any, absolutely any yarn is completely fine. So if this is your first time visiting my channel then make sure you hit that subscribe button now and keep up to date with all of my weekly videos. So you want to start with your slip knot and if you're not sure how to do that then just nip and check out my beginner series. So we're going to start with a chain of four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to turn this into a ring now so you want to insert your hook into that very first stitch and you're going to slip stitch so we're going to yarn over and pull through both of those loops. And you have now got a little ring there that you can work your stitches into. So you want to chain one and we're then going to do our very first puff stitch and you want to do it straight into the centre of the little ring. So you want to yarn over insert, yarn over and pull up and you want to pull up quite tall as you can see you want this to be quite nice and loose. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up again nice and tall and again so this is the third time now and again pull up nice and tall and again So that's four times that we did that. We then want to yarn over and carefully pull through all of those loops on your hook. You then want to do a chain one. That doesn't count as a stitch, that just secures the puff stitch. So you, that is part of your puff stitch. You then want to do a chain one again and then we're going to move on to our next puff stitch. So remember we're going to do it four times going yarn over. So yarn over and insert, yarn over and pull up again nice and tall. That's one. Two. Three. And that's four. And then again, yarn over and pull through all of those loops. Chain one for your puff stitch and then chain one again. So we've now got two puff stitches and we want to have a total of eight. So it will get quite cramped so you will need to keep like squishing them round as you go but they will fit. So if you want to carry on doing that now until you have got eight puff stitches and I will meet you there in just a second. So I've just done my eighth puff stitch so I'm just going to do my chain one to secure my puff stitch and then one final chain one. We are then ready to join this round and you're going to join it at the top of that very first puff stitch that we did. 
So you can see on the top there, there is a stitch that we can work into. So you want to just insert your hook into the top of that stitch. Make sure that you get both of the loops of the stitch and then slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through both. So that is your first round completed. So you can see it's nice and puffy, nice and thick. And we're ready to move on to the next round now. Now to move on, I'm going to slip stitch into this first space between our puff stitches. So I'm just going to slip stitch into there. And then I'm going to chain one. And then we're ready to start with our puff stitches again. Now it's going to be the exact same puff stitch, except we're going to do two puff stitches into each of the chain spaces. So I'll do the first two with you. So you're going to yarn over again, insert and pull up nice and tall. And you're going to do that four times, that's one, two, three, and four times. And then pull through all of them, chain one to secure your puff stitch, and then chain one again as normal. And you're then going to go back into that very same chain space and you're going to do another puff stitch. So yarn over and insert, yarn over and pull up tall, yarn over and again, it's two, three, and four. Yarn over and pull through all of those. Chain one to secure your puff stitch and then chain one. You're then going to jump over the top of this puff stitch and move into that next chain space and you're going to do two puff stitches again in there in the exact same way. Two, three, four. And yarn over and pull through all of those loops. Chain one to secure your puff stitch and chain one and then another puff stitch back into that same space and you're going to do that all the way around and that's where I will meet you in just a moment. So I've just completed my final puff stitch and I've done my chain to secure my puff stitch and then I've done my chain one and again we're ready to slip stitch to finish off into the top of that first puff stitch so into the top that very first one that we did, I'm going to yarn over and pull through both of those loops to finish off. Now if you want to, obviously if you are just doing the face scrubby then you can finish it here and leave as it is or if you were obviously going to do a granny square then you would leave it here and we will pick it up at this point in the next video. But as I say, if you just leave it as, as a face scrubby, you can either finish it here like it is now, or you can go around and just add a very quick UK double crochet border. So you can do that in the same colour yarn that you're using, or obviously you can use a contrasting colour. So I will just show you obviously how to add a quick border, just to neaten up your edges. So we're obviously, we've slip stitched into the top of this puff stitch so you will just insert your hook back into that same space, yarn over and pull up. And you'll have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both. So that is your first double which is going to be for the top of this puff stitch. Into your chain spaces you're going to want to do two double crochets so one and two into that same chain space. Now remember I'm working in UK terms here in the US this is your single crochet. One double crochet into the top of the next puff stitch and two into the chain spaces. One into the puff stitch, two into the chain spaces. And you'll just work that all the way around and it'll just finish it off nicely as I say if you were doing it as the face scrubby, it'll just give you a nice neat edge to it. 
but if you're wanting to turn it into the granny square then obviously you will leave it as it is and we will pick up there on the next video. I've just done my final two double crochets into that final chain space and I'm ready to close off again into the top of that very first double crochet that we did. So I'm just going to slip stitch and I'm just going to do a chain one and snip off. And then you can see now you've got a nice neat edge for your little puff stitch scrubby. So you can use, as I said before, any type of yarn that you want for that. You could even use like tulle ribbon to create a really rough dishcloth. But thanks for watching this one everyone and I will see you again very soon.